This video explains how to add color to the region between two lines in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines one, two, three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and the three columns X, Y1 and Y2. Now, in this tutorial, we want to use the ggplot2 package to draw our data. And for that reason, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines eight to 10 to create our ggplot2 line plot. So after running these lines of code, a new ggplot2 plot object is appearing at the top right, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a line plot that contains two different lines. However, you can also see that at this point, there's no color between these two lines. So in case we want to add color between these two lines, we can use the geom ribbon function, as you can see in lines 13 to 17 of the code. So as a first step, I'm specifying the plot object ggp that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the geom ribbon function. And within this function, I'm specifying the aesthetics to be equal to our x y1 and y2 values. And then I'm also specifying the filling color to be equal to this hex color code. So after running lines 13 to 17 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And now you can see that between the lines, we have added blue color. We can also add shading between two lines. And this is what I want to show you in the next part of the code in lines 19 to 24 of the code. So in lines 19 to 22, I'm using basically the same syntax as in lines 13 to 16. However, then I'm setting the filling color to be equal to gray. And then I'm also using the alpha argument to add a certain level of opacity to our color. So after running lines 19 to 24 of the code, our plot is updated once again. And as you can see, we have added some kind of shading between the lines, which is transparent, as you can see, because you can still see the lines of our grid of the plot in the background of the shading. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.